So you live there somewhere in US with a normal life without war and blaming people who had this kind of challenge that they want a normal life seriously. How can Ukrainian women want to date while their countrymen are fighting for their lives and freedoms? Uh, not for the woman to get shamed on date something. It's not the only comment, not the one comment. When uh, you foreign guys try to blame ladies to get them ashamed that they want to leave, that they want to date during war period. Uh, how you can imagine life of any Ukrainian person right now during a war? Do those guys who think that way, who blaming girls, do you really think that they need to stop their lives and live in the shelters during all this war period? This war lasts all, already more than one year. So you think she should stop feeling, thinking, I don't know what else, eating, drinking, breathing, what, what they should stop. They can't date in, uh, like organically, naturally. Uh, this marriage rate in Ukraine even more right now during war period because people need this support. They need to feel, they need to have some positive events in their life. And marriage rate in Ukraine much higher than previous years. About ladies who stay in like here and trying to explain you, I am not dating here. I'm here to educate you, to show you example, to give you honest answers, to show my real reaction. To educate. So for me, it's a work like to explain to you how not to get in a trap or how to have this good communication, good um, like this to conquer these cultural barriers. So here on the channel, it's not about dating. We explain you how to date. Um, about those ladies who like dating this time or staying uh, in a marriage agency like a client and want to start dating, what's wrong with these intentions? Can you imagine how our lives changed? How many ladies had to leave their house, to leave their own property, which not that simple to buy any spot in the world, not that simple to buy their, your own property. And uh, we had to leave our houses to take just a couple of uh, luggages with our like main clothes or something like that and to move to foreign country to learn new language to find yourself here in the, in the new professions to stay here what should we do here is a normal life a lot of refugees living abroad in european countries us canada australia many different countries what do you think they should do there sitting uh, on the couch and crying every day until the war, the war will not st stop, right? Until our men will not get free and safe, and not only men. Or what guys who leave those comments think about life? So you live there somewhere in US with a normal life without war and blaming people who had this kind of challenge that they want a normal life seriously. Let's do this with us. Stay without relations, without home, without opportunity to earn. And I will see uh, how happy will be your life. How long you will be okay to stay in these conditions. It's a great opportunity for our ladies and for foreign guys when they already like move to foreign country and have to build their life from the beginning. It's a great opportunity to meet each other. So I don't understand why some people want to blame ladies. Like they should put all their life in order of our soldiers. Yes, we have a lot of loss and pain and uh, challenges. And it doesn't mean that we need to like struggle more because we already have this challenge. It doesn't mean that we not deserve to feel happy.
Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Hello. Привет. And welcome to Ukraine Dating TV. Now you have the opportunity to video chat free seven days a week with different beautiful Ukrainian girls of all ages and walks of life. You get to ask all your deepest burning questions about all things Ukraine. And if you come to enough of our live streams, you might just discover what makes us mysterious Ukrainian women tick. Okay, so we will see you live every day over at ukrainedating.tv